What can we do with each cells? We can do many things. Ok, let's pretend that I want the another stitch set for internal walls. Now I have for external walls. It works. Yeah, it's nice. And I need one more for internal. And I can go can go here, make the new make the new criteria, then press save search and it's ok. But let's pretend that there is no not only one criteria, there are more than five of them. And it's pretty difficult to, to do it and it's pretty boring. And it's more easy to do it such way. Take one one of them and duplicate it. Let's change name to the third one. And then let's change value. And the very valuable thing we should do. After that, we should go to this search search and then press the right button on the mouse and update it. Update, it's very important. And now it works. So external, internal, internal goals. OK. And then we can organize our switch sets because in large models we have more than 10, more than 20, sometimes close to the 100 uh, of switch sets. And you should organize them using the folders. It's pretty simple. Folder, 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 rename them, and then you can drag and drop it, like this one, this one, this one. And then you can import your switch sets in special, in special file format and then export to another model. So you can do all this stuff one, one time and to set all the things you need and then you can use it in other models. So it's a very productive thing not to do it any time in, in every model. And one thing you should know that there are special, special process with their names. Now it works, it's ok. But let's change the name to this one. So the names are the same now. And Nothing happens. We could not take the elements. There's a strange, strange opportunity in this program and strange feature that when names are equal, it doesn't work. But when we rename it back, so everything works. You should know it.